Hey everyone, it's Kat and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be testing out Estee Lauder's new Futurist Hydra Rescue Foundation. This has been making the rounds here on YouTube and I couldn't wait to test it out. It boasts 12 hour coverage, medium to buildable coverage, but it also has Estee Lauder's skincare plumped right into the foundation. So we are going to test it. We're going to review it. We're going to do an all day wear test and I will let you know my final thoughts at the end of the video. So in case you're interested for makeup reviews and skincare, don't forget to click like and subscribe. And remember, I upload every Sunday and Wednesday. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you know when I upload. So just think of me as your guinea pig for foundation. So as you know, I have 52 year old skin, hyperpigmentation, fine lines, but this promises medium to full coverage and a radiant finish. I can't wait to check this out. I've already primed and prepped my skin with Touch and Soul's No Pore Bone Primer, and I just pressed it into my most porous areas of my face, as well as up in my forehead. But today we're gonna do one side with a sponge and the other side with my Kabuki brush. So let's just hop into it. So I actually went to my department store to purchase this foundation. It retails for $45 and it comes in 20 shades. When I walked up to the counter, the sweet sales lady named Charlene at the Belk department store, she asked me, what shade do I wear in Estee Lauder? I was like this, never worn Estee Lauder. So she held up a contraption up to my face to determine the exact shade and tone of my complexion. And it's called the Shade Finder. But Miss Charlene said my shade was Dawn. So we are gonna try out Dawn today. Dawn, Dawn, Dawn. Now, unfortunately, they did not have Dawn in stock. Dawn in stock? But she was so gracious to give me samples. So this is actually a fantastic way to go to your department store and test out a foundation for several days to see if you like it. Hey, it saved me $45 yesterday, right? Just saying. But if I do love it and it does deliver the coverage that I'm looking for, then absolutely, I will go back and purchase. Let's shake up the foundation and start applying. Now, the clinical testing shows this formula soothes visible redness and irritation. It also protects against pollution with antioxidants and it hydrates instantly and all day, but we'll be the judge of that. So if I could get the freaking thing open. This is what it looks like. They actually give you quite a bit. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start applying. And remember, this is shade 2W1 Dawn. I think that's what it's called. Whoa, this is runny. Now the component is very similar to the Pretty Fresh component, which is a pump in a squeezy tube. And let's just go ahead and apply. It's very liquidy, very liquidy. And I'm gonna take my Kabuki brush and go ahead and stipple it in and see how it goes. There is a scent, you've been warned. And it doesn't smell that bad, it actually smells kind of clean and fresh. Definitely medium coverage. This does not look bad. Oh wow. That's beautiful. Okay, right side of my face, kabuki brush. Now let's go ahead and apply it to the left side of my face. This foundation is also formulated with an SPF of 45. So let's go ahead and take my damp L'Oreal Beauty Sponge and pounce it in. This is usually my preferred method, but today we are going all out. This is such a beautiful shade. If you're a shade twinsy with me, I think you're gonna be super happy with this. Almost, I mean, it is seriously an exact shade match. That contraption, holy macaronis, I want one of those. Okay, sponge side, kabuki side. This looks more radiant but honestly they both look beautiful now i'm just going to build it just a hair because it does state it is buildable medium to full coverage now i can still see a little bit of my hyperpigmentation peeking out but not a whole hell of a lot and it feels really 
lightweight. Thank God. Beautiful. I'm, I'm impressed so far. So I'm just going to take a little bit more and cover up. Just dab some on. Actually, both sides look very beautiful, but I don't know which side do you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and pounce it in right through here. Take it all the way out to your ears. This might be a fantastic foundation for winter time because this is definitely hydrating. Now it does have some wacky ingredients, I ain't gonna lie. The highlighted ingredients are chia seed extract for nourishing, probiotic technology for soothing, and ion charged water for hydrating. But holy macaronis. Beautiful, oh my God, okay. Estee Lauder is stating that it covers up redness, dark spots, and hyperpigmentation. It rescues your skin with soothing, plumping hydration. It's natural looking makeup that lights skin with an instant radiant glow that lasts 12 hours. Well, alrighty then, I'm excited. Beautiful. I actually like the way it smells. And I don't like fragrance in my skincare. Well, this isn't really skincare, it is a foundation, but it does boast that it's formulated with their Estee Lauder skincare, so that intrigues me as well. What do you think so far? I think it's beautiful. It built up lovely. It definitely feels dewy. It's slightly tacky to the touch. So I'm gonna give it a few minutes to dry down. But in the meantime, how are you? How you doing? How's the new year treating you? Okay, this feels lovely. I really hope this doesn't transfer. You know I always have an issue with my specs transferring here. But look at the coverage. I'm impressed, Estee Lauder. Where have you been all my life? I've been avoiding that counter. I don't know why. I guess because my mom used to shop Estee Lauder and I equate that with older women, but who am I kidding? I'm 52 years old, the jig is up. So I guess I'm that age demographic, aren't I? Well, hello sister, welcome to the club. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, final look everyone. Now for eyes, I just went in with Tati's Textured Neutrals palette and I used the colors Aura, Soothe, and Story. I am trying to go on a no buy eyeshadow palette this year for 2020 because I have so many eyeshadow palettes and it kind of bums me out that I only buy a palette for two or three colors and then the rest of the palette just sits there. So I've been enjoying this and trying to create different looks every week. So loving this palette still. And for lips, I went in with a matte lipstick from Koki in the color Vamp. And I went on top of it with a lip gloss from Ulta in Catherine. It is called the High Shine Color Lip Gloss. Now for cheeks, I went in with ColourPop's Blush Sticks in Cool It, and I finished it off with the Nabla Skin Glazing in Privilege. Now to set everything in place, I did finish it off with the RCMA No Color Powder. You know I love this. It really set all of my makeup. But yes, what do you think of the foundation? I think it's stunning. Do you see any pores? Now remember, it is buildable, medium to full coverage. It is covering up my hyperpigmentation and it has dried down. It is no longer feeling tacky, but it still feels very soft and comfortable. And of course, it's a gloomy, rainy day here in Chattanooga, but that is not gonna prevent me from going out and about on my day. Okay, maybe it will. But yes, I'll check back with you in a few. Okay. OMG, it's cold out here. <laughs> cold and rainy in natural daylight, but I wanted you to see what the foundation looked like in natural light. I think it looks really nice. Eee, don't get too excited too soon, Catherine. But yeah, feeling good and um, feeling cold. So I'm gonna go inside and I'll check back with you in a minute. Okay. And I'm back. It is exactly 6.59, almost 7 p.m. since I first applied the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Foundation. Oh my God, that's such a mouthful to say. And I'm happy to report that this foundation has held up beautifully. Now, I did wear my specs today and there is a little bit of transfer. But remember, upon first application, how tacky and dewy it was. In my opinion, I think when applying the foundation, apply the first coat and let it dry down for sure, and then build it up, 
make sure that's secure on your face and then powder it down with whatever loose powder or setting powder you wanna use. Now remember, I did use the RCMA No Color Powder to set my face and then off camera, I went ahead and set it with a pretty fresh hyaluronic acid from ColourPop setting spray and it just melted into my face. I think this is the magic combination for me. I don't know, but it is looking so beautiful. Typically foundations at the end of the day with me start to settle into this laugh line. And let me tell you, I did a lot of laughing today. I went to lunch with a very dear friend that I haven't seen in a few months. We laughed, we had some great Vietnamese food. We went to a European market and I got some funky Russian food that I can't wait to dive in and taste. I'm all about adventure, can't you tell? And then went grocery shopping with hubby and came home and just kind of hanging out. I want you to see how beautiful and seamless this is still holding on. It has not oxidized. I think it's stunning. Now, final thoughts. This retails for $45 and I believe you get 1.2 fluid ounces. Now remember, when I went to the department store and they did the shade finder to find my exact shade, my shade was 2W1 Dawn. They were out of stock of that shade, so Charlene gave me ample samples. Woo! I'm definitely going to purchase this with the Estee Lauder skincare ingredients that it includes. It's a win-win situation, honestly. Now there are 20 shades in the shade range and although I don't have the actual product, it comes in a plastic tube with the pump. What do you think about this foundation? Now you know I'm 52 years old, you know I do have a lot of fine lines and hyperpigmentation and I think this foundation covered it beautifully. I did have to build it up to two coats to get full coverage, but I am loving the results. It was ultra lightweight, super hydrating, and no irritation whatsoever. And it does have a very unique scent. I don't know, it just smells expensive, which in my opinion, it is expensive. But I think in this case, I think I would part with $45 to get this complexion. So what do you think? Leave a comment down below if you've been thinking about testing out the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Rescue Foundation. I love it. I think it's beautiful. In my next upcoming video, I will be testing out a skincare product for our eyes. And I can't wait to share that with you and share my results. So in case you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you could join my little channel and see what else I get into. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Remember I upload every Sunday and Wednesday and don't forget to click on that little head right there. You see that head? You'll be subscribed, so cool. And for more reviews on skincare and makeup, check out these videos up here. So I'm a Halkita, I love you, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.